So I'm done making the proposed change in the third grade schedule. I can close this Excel file. And now I want to go to my school scheduling change request. So now I'm going to complete this form. I might make it a little smaller. So for the date, I can click in that request date box, click on the down arrow, and I want to make sure I choose the date that matches the date I put on my uh, Excel file and on this PDF file. So it was 9-21-15. And then I fill out the rest of the form. It's self-explanatory. I click File, Save. And I'm going to save it with the same file name. Yes, I want to replace it. Now I can close this PDF file. Now I'm going to go into Outlook. I'm going to create a new email. And this email is going to go to scheduling at phxschools.com. Dot org. So this is not the old familiar MIS support email address. This is scheduling at phxschools.org. For the subject, I might put changes to Herrera third grade. Please see attached changes. This is what I might put in the message. Then I click on Insert, Attach File. I want to go to that folder that is called Scheduling Changes. And I want to attach both the Excel file with the schedule and the PDF file that is the Schedule Change Request Form. So I hold down my Control key and select those two files. Click Insert. Those two files are attached. Then I send this message, and I'll get an automated reply from Service Pro saying the message has been received. And then the review process for that schedule change will begin with MIS and the curriculum department.